going on guys, my WrestlePool, this is my ECW WrestlePalooza 1998 review, this is part of my ECW review series, check my other ECW reviews, um, I put in a lot of work in those, a lot of, I gave you a lot of information about the ECW product in my early, in my early, uh, barely legal review, so, check it out, um, I think, yeah, this is the second, pay-per-view in a 98. There was only four pay-per-views in 98, which is guilty as ch No, no. Wrestlepalooza, Heat Wave, November to Remember, and guilty as char- No, Living Dangerously, okay. Alright, so we start off with the Blue World Order, which is Blue Meanie, he was called the Blue Guy. He was imitating Scott Hall, Kevin Nash. I mean, Steve, Stevie Cool, which was uh, imitating Kevin Nash. And uh, what's that guy's name? Nova was imitating Hulk Hogan. They defeated the FBI. Um, the full-blooded Italian little Guido was on that group. Uh, um, yeah, so, um, this match gets a 2.5. I thought there was a good athleticism in this match, but it wasn't really given enough time to really excel, so not a big fan of the FBI, nor the Blue World Order, so. 2.5 out of 5 stars, Just Incredible defeats Mikey Whipwreck. This was a good match, good match by Mikey Whipwreck. Now, I know he really didn't have that many good matches. Just Incredible, I like, I always liked him. My favorite group in ECW was probably the Impact Players, which was with Lance Storm, Just Incredible, and Sonny, I think. And there was another guy in there, I think. There might have been, but... Not including Sabu and RVD, because they really weren't a group. And Bill Alfonso, but... Um, yeah, good match. I love Just Incredibles Tombstone Pile Driver. It's awesome. If you look up a uh, ECW Heat Wave ninety eight, Jerry Lindbergh, Just Incredible. Just Incredible does a power I mean pile driver on Jerry Lynn off the top row, which is pretty cool. P match gets three point five out of five. Chris Candido and Lance Storm defeat the hardcore chair swinging freaks. Not a very good match here. I mean Balls Mahoney and Axel Rotten were on this the chair swing freaks team and they really weren't that good I mean I think Axel Rotten give him some credit he's very underrated and Balls Mahoney is very um, athletic in the ring but they were never really one of my favorites in ECW probably one of my least favorite teams in ECW um yeah so one three quarter out of five Bam Bam Bigelow defeats New Jack um New Jack don't like him don't like what he's done in the past um not a very good guy. Um, wrestling wise, he's not good either. Not really anything special. Got to listen to his garbage music the whole match, and I really don't like his matches. Bam Bam Bicolo is a beast. Always liked Bam Bam. Very agile for a big man. Very good in the ring. Very strong. Um, he defeats New Jack, so I give the match two and a half stars. Tommy Dreamer and the Sandman defeat the Dudley Boys. Once again, um, Tommy Dreamer and Sandman, not the greatest workers, but they can take some ha pretty hardcore spots. Um, the only thing I really liked about the Sandman is his entrance, and that's it. Dudley Boys, um, job out to them. Two and three quarter out of five. RVD defeats Sabu. This is really long. I did not really... I mean, this is a good match, but people, I think, overrate this match because... It got boring in some parts because it was just so long. It was like 40 minutes long. I can't. I don't really like long matches. That's why I really didn't rate the Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels match, the Iron Man match that much because I really am not a fan of those matches. I know I'm gonna review every pay-per-view of all time on this channel, so I'm gonna run into a few more of those. But check out my WrestleMania 12 review. Anyways, RVD gets the win here. At this point, he's still undefeated in ECW. Has not lost a match. Match is three stars. The franchise, Shane Douglas, um, def 
defeats Al Snow for the uh, ECW Championship. Another, another Shane Douglas main event. There's so many. Of the there's so many of these on ECW. It's unbelievable. He's like in every single main event. Man sucked. I mean, let's be honest. Belly to belly suplex is his finisher. I mean, yeah, if you're that's your finisher, that's when you know you suck. I mean, he'd always talk about a bunch of crap about Ric Flair and how he sucked and and like Steve Austin and Dusty Rhodes called him the fat man. But let's be honest, Dusty Rhodes and Ric Flair are probably five times better than this guy. Ric Flair probably ten times better than Shane Douglas ever was. That's why he was jealous of him. They need to give him Francine to get over. Match really wasn't anything special here. Not very main event caliber. Al Snow, I mean, he's... I never liked the head gimmick. I never liked Al Snow, really. The match, two and three quarter out of five. Perry gets a 6.75 out of ten. See you guys later. Peace out.